Hello guys, my name is Diana and my channel is all about skincare and beauty so if you're interested in any of that, consider subscribing. Today I'm gonna be reviewing this La Roche-Posay Shaka Fluid Sunscreen. I have decided to try this product because it's SPF 50 and the texture is not heavy at all. Those who has oily skin like me can understand how hard it is to find good sunscreen that would make you even greasier and wouldn't cause you any breakouts. For those with oily skin, it is recommended to use sunscreens not higher than SPF 30 because usually the higher SPF, the heavier product is and it's more likely that you will get pimples. I'm not sure how La Roche-Posay managed to make this sunscreen SPF 50 and so light in texture, but I'm not an expert. So far the sunscreen didn't cause me any breakouts and I used it already over a week and I'm starting to like it more and more every day. This is super important to find a sunscreen that you would love using because this is the most important step in your skincare routine. Without this one, your other skincare products that you put on your face can just go to waste. And I wish I would realize it myself earlier than I did. So yeah, make sure you find the sunscreen that you would love to use. I'm gonna quickly show you the texture, how it looks on my hand. But first, what you have to do is to shake it well because it's Shaka fluid. Okay, let's try. The texture is very liquidy and I would say it's even lighter than a moisturizer. And when you start rubbing, you can see that white color disappearing and after a couple of minutes, it would just go into your skin and it's just impossible to see that you have a sunscreen on. So this sunscreen is waterproof, sweatproof and sandproof. When you apply it, you can basically go swimming, uh, working out and do whatever, it will stay on. But you still have to reapply it every two hours, don't forget that. Of course, when I stay at home, I only applying it in the mornings. If I go outside, I would apply it more frequently. But because I stay at home, I don't get that much sun exposure. If you have sensitive skin, you can easily use it because it is formulated for sensitive skin and it also non-eye stinging. If you have sensitive eyes, I would definitely recommend using this sunscreen because it won't irritate your eyes more. Okay, the last thing I wanted to show you how it actually sits on my face because I just wanted to show you how it looks when you apply it on the oily skin. I'm just gonna pour it straight on my face. <laughs> You can see this texture is runny. I'm just gonna start rubbing because it's gonna run down. So it applies like a moisturizer and it definitely don't feel heavy on my face. So there is no white cast and it's not even that shiny. There is a little glow for now, but it will absorb and later you won't be able to notice that you have anything on your face. It's almost absorbed and I just want to show you how it looks in two hours if my skin gonna start looking greasy or anything. So yeah, see you soon. Okay, so it's been two hours and this is how my skin looks. There is a slight glow, but I wouldn't say it's greasy. But this is how usually my actual skin looks because uh, my skin is oily and it usually has this glow. So this is nothing new to me and uh, the sunscreen didn't make me any oilier than I am. So yeah, I think this is not bad at all. Okay, so we talked about what is good about the sunscreen, but now it's time to talk what is the minuses. First of all, just look at the size of this bottle. It's tiny. <laughs> and it's not even filled up to the top. 
Okay, I understand that you have to leave some space in the bottle for shaking and that all of the ingredients would be able to mix up together. But still, you have to pay almost 18 pounds for a drugstore sunscreen. I'm not sure how long it's gonna last me, but we will see. But overall, I don't have much complaints about this product. I love the feeling when I apply it on my face and this is why it's really hard to hate it because it's a bit more expensive. I guess you get what you pay for. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions just leave them in the comments section. Also, it would be nice to get to know you guys because this community is growing and I feel like I don't know you guys. So please comment down below which country are you from? Alright, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!